as you think about the time from the or from the when you joined VRE, and then you ultimately were selected as CEO until you did your transaction uh, with Essex. Um, obviously, your first time CEO, uh, probably a lot of leadership lessons learned. But what was the one that kind of stood out for you uh, from the time that you became CEO to the time that you ultimately uh, consummated the transaction with Essex? Well, I probably have a lot of lessons. I would think the one that stands out is um, not making the people decisions soon enough in terms of, you, you know, you know, in your gut that that some something some something's not right and that you need to make some changes. But sometimes it's just easier to stay the course and sort of say, oh, that person, you know, they know they have they know where all the skeletons are buried. They know all this stuff. So I'm just not going to make a change. I don't want to start. I don't want to have to bring on somebody new and develop them and train them. Um, but when I but when I ultimately made the decisions is like, why didn't I do this sooner? So I think um, re- listening to my gut when I knew that something wasn't right and it happened a couple of times at BRE. And um, and in the end, I was very happy with the decisions I made. It just took me too long. Um, and so I think, you know, I would say it's like listening to your gut. But the, the word listening is just listening, listening um, not only to yourself, but to your team and um, authentically listening and um, understanding how that supports or doesn't support your vision. 